Welcome to my thoughts on The Bear, Season 1, Episode 5. This episode is called Sheridan. So yeah, spoilers for these first five episodes. Another episode I absolutely love. So we see Sydney has to try to sleep while a very loud train passes by. And sadly, this is true for a number of people who live in big cities. And yeah, we get a montage of really, yeah, very stressful stuff. And that is a lot of medication, although she does apparently live in the same place as her father. So I guess, I mean, hopefully it's not all for her. But yeah, I, we only get a very brief glimpse, but I think it might be anxiety medication. And yeah, Sydney and Carmi talk. And again, you know, yeah, they get along. They agree on the the problems and how to fix them and the toilet literally explodes like I didn't I'm not sure I knew that was the thing like I've heard people say oh the toilet exploded you know we have to you know that's something we have to deal with I'm not sure I've ever seen it before that's yeah and you know I I don't know if they did use a a stunt guy or if that actually was Jeremy Allen White but some poor guy sprayed with the, just, yeah. I mean, hopefully the water was clean, but even so, it's still a lot. And Carmi says they're not going to close for it because they can't, you know, if they lose one day, that's it. They, they, they can't keep the place going. Richie makes it hard to hate him because just constantly dropping those references, you know, who enters the place, what's up, fucking replicants? Just, mm, love it. Love all the sci-fi references. I forget, is that, was that what they were called? I believe that is what they were called in Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. So it's not just that, oh, you watched the movie. No, he, well, okay. This one is not proof that he actually reads Philip K. Dick. He said other things that proved it. And, yeah, Chester is is there again and still really stoked on the, the thing. It's just, yeah, very cool to, to see. And, <laughs> you know, the, 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 look, I, I asked you to tell me about it, and you told me every single little detail. Well, yeah, well, then don't ask me to tell you about it. I feel you, Chester. That's, yeah. I got heart. You need a brain. <laughs> Sorry, fact. You walk right into that one. And, yeah, so they... I will fuck whoever I want to fuck. You're not fucking me. And smash cut, and they're fighting. Because that's just the kind of thing. Just, yeah. And, you know, some, some of them are like, should I, should I interfere? Should I stop? The, you know, yes, no. <laughs> and Carmi throws water on them, which, yeah. The, and, you know, Fack narks uh, Richie out and tells, uh, tells Carmi, you know, he sells coke in the back alley, which, you know, and we get some, some, Let's see. Yeah, you know, that it, it wasn't even my idea. Whose was it? Take a guess. You know, and yeah. Mikey the fuck up strikes again. And yeah, he points out, how do you think we live through COVID? You know, because there were a lot of places that really struggled because the government did not do its job and take care of the people. And... See, yeah, and and he said, you know, I should call the cops on you. Well, I should call the cops on you for being a naive, you know, this is, yeah. And it's such a it's such an obvious gag, but you know, Richie t says, "Don't blow a fuse," and then the place blows a fuse. <laughs> I know I'm I'm such a mark for jokes like that, but it's that's really really funny, and. Yeah, you know, they need a freezer, so, you know, they get Pete's help without asking sugar, because Pete is, of course, gonna 
you know, if if Carmi calls Pete and says, "I you know I need a favor," Pete is going to be like, "Yes, bro," you know, j yeah. Once again, I really I'm very much like Pete in real life. So <laughs> when I'm not recording YouTube videos, but yeah, so so I get to make fun of him too, and that's yeah, one hundred percent, you know. And yeah, sugar is like you you didn't think you should ask me first, you know, and the you know she points out you know i recently lost a brother too you know and yeah you know she she points out you only show up when you need something and he does tell her you know i'm going to alanon three times a week and she's really glad and i really appreciate you know she can be hard on him but she does really want to help him you know i i always appreciate media that has positive representation for women. She's not like perfect or something, but she wants him to, you know, they're, they're siblings. She wants him to do well. So yeah, when he, and, and that's also, you know, he, he tells her because he knows that he, you know, he needs to, to put out the fire. He needs to, you know, he fucked up and that's, uh, yeah. And they have no gas, which like, um, yeah, for those people who don't, who might not be aware, you know, you know the saying, now we're cooking with gas? Yeah, cooking without gas, that's, yeah, you, you need, you need gas. That's, that's, yeah, so, so that's, uh, and, um, yeah, <laughs> Sydney thinks, you know, I like the, the IMDb plot description for this episode, things go wrong in the kitchen, Sydney finds solutions, <laughs> which, couldn't that apply to every episode so far? But anyway, the, the, yeah, really, really, um, yeah, she points out, you know, is there still a building site across the, you know, because it's like, I mean, eventually they're going to need these cinder blocks and such, but not right now, you know, building a building, that takes time. There's going to be stuff left over, so, you know, for, until they get to the part where they use it. They can borrow it for one day, and they set up an outdoor grill, which is legitimately clever. You know, that's, yeah. If you can't cook with gas, outdoor grill, uh, you know, um, freshly grilled stuff is frickin' delicious. So, why did I say frickin'? Fucking delicious. And, you know, Manny comes clean to, to Carmi, you know, it was me, I blew the fuse. And Carmi takes it well and points out, you know, you know, and, and Manny's like, I'm not going to fuck up again. Yes, you are. Not because you're you, because we all fuck up. And, you know, and, and that's such a great, because, like, Manny is like, you know, I, I know I fucked up. I don't want to, you know, th this is not a thing, okay? I'm not going to be the fuck up. And Carmi is like, it's gonna happen. Of course, it's gonna happen, and that's okay, you know. So, so yeah, really, really great. And the yeah, turns out that the the it's gonna cost fifty five hundred dollars. I thought you had a connect. I guess I didn't. I I don't have a connect. How are we gonna make that much money in such a short amount of time? Oh fuck. And Richie's like. Well, 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 look who, look who comes crawling back. Well, I mean, gonna have to think about it, you know, I don't, this is not some, this is not a decision to be made lightly, and it's like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> and the, the, yeah, he, you know, he insists that Fak say Matai, and, you know, eventually he agrees, and, yeah, that's, gonna do it and and I gotta admit that I had to look that up not because you know I don't mind that there's stuff said on the show where I kind of have to intuit what it means but I wouldn't be saying Matai on camera if it was like I don't know uh, the n-word in another language or something you know but no it just means I give up uh, you know I googled it and the top two results were for this episode you know one of them was IMDb tr I guess trivia the other was a Reddit for the show, so yeah. And yeah, Sydney 
explains and I appreciate that Manny, you know, he he accepts that, you know, you don't just rip the the tape off, but he's using the knife to make it more effective than you know, if he were using the, the scissors. So yeah, uh, another really excellent episode. I, th I guess that's everything I have to say about it. So yeah. Um, yes. <laughs>